struggling to find your groove in life? Have you noticed that maybe your energy is lacking? Maybe you have addictive qualities in terms of technology and things. Well, maybe it is related to your dopamine levels. So if you don't know a lot about dopamine, it is that reward center in the brain and it can be overly stimulated, meaning that we can actually develop something called a dopamine resistance. But I have my nine tips now for dopamine resistance and dopamine detox, which I will share now. Don't go anywhere because number nine, you don't want to miss that one, is very important in terms of that mind-body connection and your dopamine levels. Okay, so let's get to it. Tip number one, you want to definitely stop or refrain as much as possible from those addictive behaviors. So whether that is your gaming, maybe it's looking at social media, whatever you find that you can't let go on your own as an addictive behavior could be overstimulating your dopamine centers and you want to stop or refrain from that behavior for a period of time as part of your dopamine detox. Tip number two for your dopamine resistance and dopamine detox is to get out into nature. So this is what I call mother nature's prescription. You want to get grounded. You want to see that sunlight, especially first thing in the morning and throughout the day as much as you can. Really, really important as part of your dopamine detox and to reset the proper signaling of your dopamine levels. Tip number three is to include more foods in your diet that help with your dopamine levels. So this could be the tyrosine containing foods. I love almonds for this. Very, very healthy. Berries as well. And dark chocolate, which is one of my favorites. It contains phenylethylamine, which is a chemical that stimulates our brain cells to release more dopamine. We also want to include more of the omega-3 foods into our diet. So what does that mean? That means seafood. Studies have shown that the omega-3s can restore and enhance the release of dopamine in the brain. Tip number four is to work on healthy relationships. Now, what does this mean? Well, I always say you can't change others in your life. So if you're struggling and having relationship issues with others in your life, you can't change them, but you can change yourself. And when you change yourself and the reactions that you have to other people, just by the impact of changing yourself, it actually helps to change their behaviors as well. And how you react is going to change how they react. Okay, tip number five for dopamine detox and dopamine resistance is to fix your leptin resistance. If you don't know what leptin resistance is, make sure you check out my other videos. Really, really important to get this hormonal system and feedback mechanism happening optimally for your overall health, but helps with your dopamine response as well. Tip number six is to include some exercise, some movement. This is always going to help you to secrete your feel-good hormones, your dopamine, your serotonin levels as well, and ideally doing your exercise outside so that you are then, again, in Mother Nature's prescription. Tip number seven is to make sure that you have a regular sleep schedule. This will do a lot for your circadian rhythms and keeping everything in sync, as well as your dopamine secretion. Tip number eight is you may want to supplement with some of the essential nutrients to help with that dopamine detox. So one of my favorites, something that I take every single day, is my high concentrated DHA fish oil supplement. So they're not all created equal. Make sure that you find a high quality one that is higher in that DHA. And another thing that's interesting for dopamine detox is that green tea studies have shown that the polyphenols in green tea can also enhance the bioavailability of dopamine in the needed areas, of course, in the brain and the rest of our body. This helps to improve circulation of dopamine in the body, which also gives it a more active effect. And tip number nine, what you've been waiting for is that mind-body connection. And again, we don't need to seek out those pleasurable activities and overdoing it with that dopamine response if we know and define our purpose in life. And we, if when we're working along with nature in tune, then we do not need those extra things on the outside to overdo stimulate our dopamine center. So I want you to think about that. That was my nine tips for dopamine resistance and dopamine detox. I hope that you use these tips for yourself. I'd love to hear how it's going in the comments. So please drop a comment below. For more information though, how to fix your leptin resistance, check out my video, nine tips to reverse leptin resistance. I'll see you there.